am I the asshole for being the asshole? The answer might be in the question, but I don't know. Let's hear. I like that. My 40-year-old wife and I, 42, have been married for five years. My wife works in a doctor's office and I own a trucking company. I work early in the mornings and I'm usually home around 2 p.m. In the time at, at home and she's still working, I do laundry, cook dinner, and feed the walk the feed and walk the dogs. Okay. When she comes home, unless she wants to go to a store or something, she comes home and sits on her ass and watches TikToks. I can relate. She doesn't wash dishes after I cook dinner. She doesn't do laundry. She doesn't have any hobbies of any kind, unless you count her complaining about the way I cook and clean are nowhere Damn. near what she's accustomed to. Wait, how long have they been married? Five years. So she should be accustomed to it by now. <laughs> so one weekend we had a barbecue and my in-laws were over. My wife comes from a conventional Mexican family. All right. Dad goes to work and mom tends to the home after work. So I'm outside on the grill and my wife comes to tell me that the air conditioner feels like it's not cooling properly. I stop what I'm doing and go check it out. And as she described, the air wasn't cooling properly. I call an HVAC company and they said they will be out on Saturday after 2 p.m. within an hour. When I tell my own family this, everyone is cool except my wife. She was upset that I, a man who knows nothing about working with electricity or where to even begin diagnosing a HVAC unit, called a professional to tend to the problem instead of trying to fix it myself. Yeah. In front of our friends and family, she says, you should be more like your dad. He will work on something until he figures it out and you just want to pay someone else. This embarrassed me and hurt my feelings a lot. But I didn't say anything and just went back out to the grill. My mother-in-law comes outside and says, don't worry, mijo. If she wants you to be your dad, I'll tell, her, tell you exactly what to do. So fast forward to Monday afternoon. I get home from work and I walk through the house with my dirty boots on, left my dirty, muddy clothes on the bathroom floor, made a sandwich and left a mess in the kitchen, and I didn't walk or feed the dogs, make dinner or even take anything out, of the thaw, out to thaw. When my wife came home from work, she found me eight beers deep in a 12-pack watching basketball. She was livid. So she called yeah. her mom and told her all about it. And her mom says, well, you wanted him to be like your daddy. All I did was tell him how to be more like your dad. Now, we are walking around the house like inmates, eyes forward, no talking. She says her mother and I were wrong to do this, and she is demanding an apology. However, she is refusing to acknowledge her hurtful words and actions, and I'm refusing to apologize until she does. Was I the asshole for being the asshole? Mm. Love you guys and love your content. Keep up the good work. Thank you. Thank you so much. Wife of a therapist? <laughs> so they come for your opinion. Let's go. <laughs> this is non therapeutic. <laughs> I love that. I love you, that. You love petty shit. <laughs> well, you, oh, I love that. <laughs> we, you love petty shit. I love that. I love that he did that the the one time. But I think to continue it going on is just oh, that's bad. No, well, he's not. He's not continuing it. He did it. He did and it. And now she's mad. Yeah, and I think that, um, you know, I, if, if I were in his shoes, I would feel unappreciated of doing all the stuff, right? And there's clearly a lack of communication there. And he was hurt by the words that she said. So, Well, hold on. What? The narcissist in me wants to jump out. It's everyone has a communication issue and their communication style, right? Okay. So we always say communication, but uh -huh. I, I think... The issue is communication is such a blanket thing. That's fair. In this scenario, I wouldn't even say it's the communication issue. It's the contempt she has shown, the disregard she has shown for him. For one, no one likes to be reprimanded or belittled. That's fair. And no one wants to be reprimanded or belittled in, in front, front of, of people. people. Agreed. No one signs up for that. Unless you have like some kind of shame kink, most people are not signing up for that at all. So... That's not that's why I say I don't want to just say communication. There's there's a reason why they have a communication issue. Yes. It also seems that 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 your household is unbalanced. That's fair. It's that she you do work, you take care of the house. She goes to work and she And he also goes to work. Yeah. Yeah. And she complains. Correct. And I think 
he's internalized a lot of that. I don't know if they've had a, dis- a discussion about that. Five years. I'm confident they've had a discussion. Oh, yeah. And then the whole bashing in front of people, that's just not. But then it's then let's take this at another layer. It's not just bashing in front right. of people. It's bashing about something stupid. Well, a real man. And what what did I tell you? What have I told you? How many times? If you're a man, the first thing they're going to do is question your masculinity. And then yeah. they're going to question your sexuality. Sexuality. Then they're going to belittle your income and what you produce. If you're a woman, it's, it's, these rules never change. First, they're going to question your sexuality. You're a hoe. That's it. That's it. That's, that's, that's how they do it. Yeah. It, it, it's like they go through steps. So why does she feel the need to question his masculinity? Because a real man would just break the HVAC. <laughs> and then have to call somebody anyhow to fix and it. And then have to call someone <laughs> or just buy a new one. You know, why didn't you just buy a new HVAC? You broke. You know, like. Like if the air conditioner was, go- was broken, I would never tell you to try to even go out there to try to diagnose. Wouldn't matter if you told me. <laughs> Are you kidding? Me? Inconsequential, what you say? <laughs> never gonna happen. But you know, traditionally, many no. men would be fix it men. And yeah. would fix a lot of things around the houses. That's why all these houses are fucked up now when yeah. you buy them. Yeah. Uh, that, that is a, a fairly normal thing. I think more and more you have men, such as myself, who have phones and know how to call people. Yeah. Because I don't know how to do that shit. Yeah. No, but no, no. Coincidentally, I want, I want you to figure it coincidentally out. we have a toilet uh, that's running a little longer. And I can do about three things. Okay? If it's the fill valve, I can do that. That's no problem. If it's anything else, bro, I don't know. I'm going to be hanging out with toilets. Like, well, how the fuck would I know? I mean, I I like to attempt things. Like once. I yeah, but, a, but an HVAC is not a thing to no, attempt. No, I'm not messing that's, with the air conditioner. The like, thing doesn't work, that's it. Like, that's, come on. That's, that's, you got to get somebody out there. There's a reason why you have like handymen and yeah. you have HVAC. No. It's, a, it's an entirely different nope. thing to itself. No, thank you. So mm-hmm. it's and just I can't a be wild. Hot, so that's not gonna happen. But that points to why would she even question that? Yeah. So, guess what I'm gonna recommend they do? Talk. No. Do you? Did you see? I did. Did I show you that comment that somebody said? Why is your wife? First off, why do they always write to me in the comments? I don't know. Very interesting. They never acknowledge that. Like you're you're the wife, and they're talking to me. Weird guys. Um, why is your wife's recommendation always for talk? Always that they need to communicate. It's never shame the woman. Shame? Oh, that, Who is shaming? Why does it? Why does someone have to be shamed? Don't worry, honey. Oh, that's that's why I don't even read that stuff because I can't. I can't. Well, get in. again, you know, you just come home from work. And you just <laughs> things just happen. I, 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 I don't want our to. followers are growing. How does that happen? <laughs> it's like we record it and it just appears. How does it exactly? I know. Um, no, I would. I'm gonna say therapy. No, oh, what do you do in therapy? What should talk? What should they? Well, <laughs> tell me more about what they do in therapy. <laughs> tell me more. Break it down. I mean, you're married to one, so obviously uh, talk. Yeah, about all of it. So they can go to therapy. I don't, I'm not against them going to therapy. You know what blows my mind? What? More and more people want your advice. Yeah. Yeah, they should go to therapy so they can talk about all of it. I, I apologize yeah. for, for the... Just go talk about it. Talk about how you feel. Talk about all the things you feel like you do. You don't feel appreciated. The whole um, talking in front of other people, like down about you, like talk about all of it. I think there's a lot of things there. And I think that's just what the, what they wrote to us about. It's probably bigger than that. Well, I would talk about her depression. Oh, you think she's depressed? I See, I don't know anything like that. Oh, shit. You don't? Didn't even know. I thought you had this one. No, I don't think about that. I don't know that she's depressed. That's I don't know that she's depressed, and let's not just throw out diagnoses. You're not supposed to diagnose people that you've never spoken to. It would be, it would be unethical for me to just throw out a diagnosis. But I would be very curious as to why she is unmotivated to do more in the house, why she is unmotivated to be supportive of you doing things in the house, mm-hmm. why she is mostly motivated to complain about what you do these don't sound like uh, the actions of a happy yeah. person and then he pointed out that she had no hobbies so she 
lacks interest in things. Yeah. She has a negative view because he's been cooking for five years and she's just going to complain. Yeah. If if the cooking's that bad, mm. I'm hopping in the kitchen. Yeah. Might need to take over. So I'm, I can't say she's depressed. Mm. Again, everything that we are doing here is entertainment and education. I am a therapist, not your therapist. Please seek your mental health advice from your provider. I am just a guy who shows up when she says so. I almost said your name just now. Oh, wow. There are people that probably think your name is Mrs. Sawyer. At this it point. is Mrs. It's Sawyer. Freaking weird. That's proper name. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. But, but in my from my experience, I'm not gonna say she is, but I'd be very curious as to what's going on in all those things. Yep. Yep. And maybe in, in therapy that they'll talk about what they can do so this person doesn't feel unappreciated. Like yeah, they should go out. Sometimes she comes home, they go out to dinner. Kind of thing. Okay. Sounds like she could make a plan. Yeah. Because she's that's got saying. time. Yeah. He's a truck driver, right? Yeah. You know how hard that is to be on the road and then yeah. come manage a household? Yeah. There was one little thing I did disagree with him, though. What do you say? He didn't take out the dog. The dog ain't got nothing to do with the two of them. He didn't feed the dog or take it for a walk. The dog, the dog, the dog, the dog didn't do anything. So I just felt, you're going to do all that. That's it. At least take the dog out and feed it. Okay. Yeah. I agree the dog needs to be fed and walked. <laughs> uh, no, it's important. Yeah. That was that was the only thing in there. But everything else. Hmm. That's my recommendation for you. What's your recommendation? Talk? Yeah. I can't see the comment. I, I hope that one person comes back. Again, your wife wants to talk. Ugh. Okay. Shame the woman. Well, come back. <laughs> uh, there's space for him, too. For them. It's a space uh, for them too. Whatever they want. It's interesting that, that the mom is the one that said, well, you know. <laughs> you want your daddy? Here, here, here you go. Here's how you handle that. 